I'm currently building this Sheraton folding table. You can see that there is a double tabletop here and a hinged lid that can come back and rest on this back leg that is hinged to hold that extra tabletop. But right now I'm in the shop working on this front apron and there's quite a bit of decoration, inlay, bandings, and veneer on this uh, serpentine shape. And I need to have full-size templates to cut out this ellipse, veneer ellipse, and also to cut out the rectangular uh, parts here that that will be glued onto the front face of that apron. So I've made a copy of the front apron component and I would like to show then how I make the template for this ellipse in the middle and the first thing that I do, well, notice that there is this serpentine shape. So if I click on this pattern here that I want to have, that's a curved pattern and a flat face um, will not be correct to use on the actual apron that is uh, cut out because it's got that curvature. The length of the full-size template is actually longer than just the straight length that you see here in profile. So to create the correct profile that is long enough that I can place it on the surface of the apron and have an accurate cutout, I will use a, a way of uh, flattening the curved surface, this surface is curved right here that is highlighted. I'm going to make a copy of that curved surface and I'll just click on edit copy and then close the component and edit paste that that face right about here and you can see that it is curved and what I would like to do is flatten that curvature so that I can make a paper template that will be the full length needed to mark up the actual substrate apron and the way to do this is to use a, a, an add-on, an extension that is free and that extension is called Unwrap and Flatten. Flatten. Unwrap and Flatten. So you can go to the extension warehouse here and search on that flatten uh, extension and it'll quickly load and you can start using it right away and it's free. So 
I've highlighted that shape over there and I can go straight to the unwrap and flatten faces there and it tells it gives me a note that that uh, talks about the what it's going to do and I click OK and it tells me that 23 out of the 23 selected faces faces so there were 23 actual faces in this uh, you can see the hidden lines here that show the the number of faces the, the this middle part is flat but all these other little faces are at an angle and it says that that it's it's the result is uh, on the ground so if I say okay I should look on the ground and there's the ground down there I'm not sure why it always puts it on the ground but that's the way the program works and this is a flat face now it's not curved so it's longer if I measure the distance from here to here on this curved face that will be less than the distance that is shown here now I want um, I want to be able to make a uh, full-size template of that flattened face so I should be able to go to a top view and let's see if I can yeah I can rotate this if I want to but I can bring it up like this in the screen and then uh, do a file and a print preview and set up my template for a one-to-one -one, uh, uh, ratio so that it, it is full size and then use that template I what I do is paste it to thick poster board and cut it out with an exacto knife and that's my template I forgot to mention that camera needs to be in parallel projection